Now that we practice using the gripper, let's practice actually picking up objects. So open up RoboCell again, which is probably open for you. Click New, and let's re-import Pick and Place. We're going to use the same setup for all of our practice ones. Click the Simulation to Teach, and then we click Pro. Then double check and make sure you're in simulation mode. If all that's good, you should be ready to go. Um, I could go to my commands and look over here. Remember, RE is remark. So I'll type in RE. And I'm going to call this one Pick Up Block. Then type remark and type your name. Then type RE again and type the class period. This is class period, I don't know, we'll call this 5 and 6 again. Uh, you're going to be just your own class period. And then one more remark, type RE, and today's date is going to be, I think that's right. Now we are going to get to use the movement things down here. So if you leave it on joints and you click these buttons, it's going to move the robot up here. We're going to do it in the XYZ coordinate plane. So I'm going to right click and zoom in a little bit. I'm going to pan. I'm going to click on that hand thing to drag the image so I can see a little better. And if I hit the one button, you can see it's moving forward. It's not moving down, it's just moving forward. If I click the Y, it's moving side to side. That's actually opposite of the milling machine, if you remember that. So. And then again, we can move back, and then Z, that's down in the Z direction. You can see that here. And man, it's just putting along. Let's speed this up. Click speed 10, and now that's max speed. So that's cool. That gets us where we want to go. Okay? You're going to have to keep panning around on this thing. Now you can see my gripper's not open. So let's open that gripper. Click on that. It's open now. Move it forward a little bit, move it left a little bit. Oop. Now we gotta move the gripper arm. Oop. Now I moved it out of the workspace, so I got that error. That's fine. The gripper actually looks in good position, so let's move it back. Move it down again. I bet I'm pretty close. Looks like I'm centered this way. I'm lined up that way. So I'm gonna record this as position number eleven. Position number one is right here. Position number one is right here on the ground. Eleven is above it. Position two is where we want to go. Twelve is above that. So this is kind of the pattern you go. Ground level is one. Above that is level eleven. Above that is twenty-one, thirty-one, forty-one, fifty-one, sixty-one. At position two, and then above that is twelve, twenty-two. 32, 42, 52. That's going to be the format you're going to see in all of these. So I'm going to record this as position 11 because it's just above position 1. And then we click record. Now let's go right down into the box. And here's a little shortcut tool that you can start using. If I click this send robot to object and then I click this object, it will go right into it in a perfect position. So we'll record that as position 1 and click record. Now let's go back to position 11. I'm going to type 11 in there. I'm going to say go to 11 and it goes to that spot. Let's slide over. Whoops, that, that went forward and back. We don't want that. So let me go back to position 11. And now I'm going to slide side to side because all we're doing is picking it up and going side to side. And, let, and let's record this as position 12. Click 12, record. And then go straight down, which is Z. Now if I go down too far, I'll bang into the table. We don't want that. So it actually will move it slightly above the table for me. Um, I'm going to go up just a little bit more, and I'm going to record that as position 2. Now, we're going to see if I got lucky. So let's go back to position 12. Go there. Go to position 11. Go to position 1. You can find the toggle also. And now I'm going to close my gripper. I'm going to go to position 11, position 12, and position 2. And I got lucky. It didn't bang into the table. 
If it does, you have to re-record position two. So currently, this is position two. I could uh, I could drop it down a little bit more, and I'm going to record that as position two. I know it's safe because it's holding on to the block. So let's reset the work cell. The one thing I forgot to do was record position 99. That's the starting position. So type 99, click record. And now what I want to do is I want to open the gripper. I want to go to position 11, position 1, close the gripper, zoom in, position 11, position 12, position 2, open the gripper, position 12, and then back to start. And that will be my program that I'm going to run. So let's go over here. We'll type it. The first thing we're going to do is open gripper. So it's OG. Then we're going to go to position. So you can click this, which is go to position via the um, circular. It'll go to position. Uh, well, let me just click that. It'll go to position based off the joints of the robot. And that's fine to do. Linear will go a straight line, so the joints kind of bend all funny. Um, linear is risky. Joint is great. We're going to go to position 11. We're going to go there fast because we're safe. Click OK. Now we're going to go to position, and I can type in GP via joint to position 1. Now we have to go at a slow speed because we're actually going near the block, so we got to do it safe. We're at position 1, which is right on the block. Let's close the gripper. So that's this, close gripper, or type CG. Now we're going to go back to position 11. So GP, position 11, speed 5, OK. Now we want to go to position GP position 12 at a speed of 5 because we're holding a block so that should swing it over now we want to go straight down to position 2 and drop it off so go GP for go to position 2 slowly and now open gripper which is OG Whoops, it wasn't in this window you have to click this window make sure it's active click open gripper now let's slowly go back to above the blo block which is position 12 GP 12 slowly and now that I'm safe above the block, I can rapidly go back to position 99. So GP 99, fast. Click OK. Now I'm going to move my table down so I can watch this. If you click on the show robot path, it'll show the whole path. So let's go to where we start, which is block 5. Run the program once. And we get to watch and see what happens. It's going to position 11, down to 1, close gripper, up to 11 over to 12, down, open gripper, back to 12, and then back to 99.